this this one is why people need to accept that Brian Laundry is dead, likely out in the reserve. He left the wallet. He left the phone. The father said, "Please don't harm yourself." Before he lawyer, lawyered up, the odds are that he is out in the reserve, dead, and killed himself within hours, if not sooner. Uh, relatively near the car. Uh, now, yesterday I uploaded a video about um, a Las Vegas uh, lady that went missing. And she, her hike was right next to houses in open desert. No trees, no nothing. They were searching the correct area. They even saw her on the surveillance camera walking up to do her, her common hike on the, the trail. And yet, uh, they went up with helicopters, dogs, people, and nothing was found. Well, you know, almost a year, year goes by, and she was found next to, her remains were found next to the trail by a random hiker who took a shortcut or something like that. So, keeping that in mind, now look at this massive area uh, with trees where a person could um, be any place and not be found ever not be found ever. So watch some of this to get a feel for it. Uh, when um, the thing with Brian Laundry, they go, well, he wouldn't have done it. He wouldn't have killed himself. But the odds are uh, by far highest that that is what he did. And that they just simply, his remains may never be found. Where they are. But again, this is in the Mayakahatchee Environmental Park. Again, this is where they believe Brian Laundrie started. This is where Chris Laundrie came to help uh, law enforcement search. Keep, keep in mind that... Um, so we'll now kind of go across into this area to see if we see anybody. Look at those trees. Now, right, you know, right in there, that's where they park. Well, Brian Laundrie could be over here, 50 feet, under the tree canopy. Walk, walk around you know, walked through and hung himself or shot himself. So, just look. Now, I thought the distance views would come up sooner. Look at this massive area. And again, out in this area, it's drier than it has been. As Thousands well. of times bigger a lot of these than the area where the that girl was just found gone. near Las Vegas. Thousands of times bigger. And yet she laid there for a year out in the open. Okay, we're on now. I can answer some questions. See, the camera's pointed down at the ground. I want him to zoom out where he shows how massive that area is. Yeah, again, the toughest part in this area, we know they're out here searching. It's just really, really tough. They're just driving around on They're roads. wearing green or camo or even a dark color, it makes it really tough to find them out in this area. And again, it's a huge area. So we're going to keep making our path and looking. But again, I mean, I mean look, Brian Laundry to commit suicide wouldn't have went out to try to hide himself. I've never heard of that. But... They're just driving around on the roads. There are not teams going through every bush. You can't do that. You can't do that. But I want them and to pan out. Cars. We know they're searching. Pasco County has two search teams out here. We just haven't been what it is. We're just going to go to this area. We see uh, some vehicles out here. Uh, this could be a control burn. I see it has nothing to do. Brian, Brian Laundry could be right there next to that tree. Nobody, there's no way they could find him. No cadaver dogs are going to find him. But I, I, I want him to zoom out. See, they're just down there along the roads. There's no, there's no teams. Uh, 
going across every conceivable place. It's impossible. And it would not be expected for them to do so. Uh, people have to accept that he is dead and he will never be found.